Hey guys, this is Charles here, aka the God of SEO. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be going through how to install and configure WooCommerce for your test country. So as you can see here on woocommerce.godofseo.co, I have a test uh, WordPress installation installed. So it's just a standard WordPress installation. First, you have to go to your WordPress backend in the WP admin and go to plugins, add new, and you're just going to search for WooCommerce. It'll be the first one that pops up here, which says WooCommerce Excelling E-Commerce. If it doesn't, then it'll be Buy Woo Themes. Install now, click OK, and it will begin installing it. Then as soon as it's installed, you just activate the plugin, and you'll get these nice shiny new features on the left-hand side of your admin panel. As you can see here, WooCommerce and Products. So next thing is, you want to go to your WooCommerce Settings. And you want to install the pages, install WooCommerce pages. And that is sorted and done. And then you get a kind of overview of all the features that you have in WooCommerce 2.0. Go back to WooCommerce settings. Select your currency if you're in dollars, pounds, whichever country you're from, as well as your country, which you're from, which I'm from the United Kingdom, pounds sterling, though you can select dollars, etc. And then the allowed countries. Let's say your your company is based in the United Kingdom and it just supplied to the United Kingdom. You can select specific countries and just target those that are there. If you want to put your store on hold for the time being, you can enable site-wide text and it will come up with this is a demo store for testing purposes. No orders shall be fulfilled. So I'm just going to set that up there so that's ready for me to do that. And then you can also force secure checkout so you can have a HTTPS so it's encrypted but you will need a SSL certificate. Next thing is you're going to use register using the email address for the username, prevent customers from accessing the WP admin, and allow customers to repurchase orders from their account page. Then you select your styling of your account page, and you can also have the downloads here. Then just save those settings, and you're almost ready to go. Next, when you have it over to tax and set up your tax distribution. If you are in a specific country that does specific tax, then you have to fill that out there. Next, head over to shipping, and you just create the different kinds of shipping that your company offers, and it's really easy to do by doing that. You have up here your flat rate, your free shipping, your international delivery, your local pickup, and your local delivery. Then once that's all set up, you have to go over to payment gateways, and normally I just enable PayPal here and then you can move them up and down. If you want to do PayPal or a number of other ones, you just put in your PayPal email and your PayPal receiver email, which is the exact same thing normally, and then fill out the rest of the details. If you want to do cash and delivery, very much the same. You can enable it, check, enable it, and then you can have all sorts of other things on there as well. You can also use a number of plugins to go and put in the processing through there. Then you want to go to your email and you want to change this to your store's name and your store's email address. You can then also put in your template, so you have your header image, your email foot text, for example your phone number and address, and the colours of your store. Click save settings and that's pretty much done. You're already in setup and all the settings are configured for WooCommerce. It's literally that simple. Thanks for watching guys, this has been Charles aka God of SEO and peace.